connected yes it is so let's take this fence sometimes you click and it doesn't really register and then connect it to here now there we go you start 17 well, that's all you're gonna buy oh we're level 43 actually like oh my god how quickly did that level up that is amazing Greetings guys and girls and fellow gamers, my name is Gibson Kicks and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 16. Yes, we're not back with War of the Walkers because I have plans to do that slightly different going forward. So I'm gonna need to think about this, it's gonna take me a couple of days to bear with me. But we're back in um, vanilla and I have thought about my traps and I have to change the way this works because I, I understand now how trap wires work and you cannot make a perfect square with trap wires the way I had it planned. So. Then I need to do some rearranging. I'm gonna do a lot of that off camera now because it involves a lot of destruction of blocks right now. And then we're gonna look at it when I have it all together and hopefully it will become clear. Anyway, and then we're gonna go and go to the trader and uh, see how much cash we can make and hopefully we're gonna find an auger. Anyway, I hope you guys are gonna have a good time watching the episode. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Okay, so I've cleaned up a little bit upstairs. Now what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make four more tripwires because the way this basically works, and I can show it you really quickly. When you have a tripwire, you say you have three tripwires here, yeah? And you have power in the middle somewhere and you power this tripwire here, okay? Then from this tripwire, you go to here. Then the only thing that will trigger when you walk over it, you will actually trigger whatever is connected to the receiving tripwire. So if I have another two devices connected here on this side and say I have another device is connected here to this tripwire on this side, these will not trigger if we walk over the tripwire here. So the way this works is a tripwire, the, the, if you connect two tripwires, the receiving one is going to be the one that has all the power. So the way this is going to work then is basically you connect power to tripwire, tripwire to another tripwire, then all the power here. And that's why we also see in the other video that we connect then this tripwire to a fence and then double back across to a fence pole here. That means that as the zombies walk across here, the fence gets activated. The reason that is, I found out by the way, and you were telling me as well, which is correct, it uses less energy because if you have a fence and you have it directly powered, which you can do, it constantly tr it trickles power. But if you only have it active when somebody trips it, then you conserve power, your battery lasts longer, or your engine, your fuel lasts longer, whichever, which is very good. Now, when it comes then to this side here, we can connect a tri uh, tripwire to fence, fence to fence, and then also here tripwire to dart. So what we're gonna, so here, here will be the fence, okay? Or here will be the fence, whichever, it doesn't really matter. So say here's, here's the fence and here's the tripwire, okay? So tripwire to tripwire, fence to fence, or tripwire, fence, fence, it doesn't matter which way around, yeah? Now, of course, what you also want to have is then up here on the top, Maybe even above the tripwire, if that is possible, that would be great because that would conserve some space, yeah? We're going to put the dart gun pointing this way as well because everything is going to be along this line. Now, the problem is obviously that if you then try to connect this tripwire over to there, you're going to start destroying what you have here. So you have to make four individual sets of... Uh, combinations so we need for each side two tripwire one dart gun and two fence sticks so in total we need eight of everything except the dart gun we need four because we're only going to put one actually head high pointing that way and we don't have to worry about any blocks getting destroyed up here like it, it's fine so this way they get headshots they get stuck uh, get electrocuted and headshots and then obviously on the ground we're also going to put some spikes in and they're completely screwed. End of story. They, there's nothing they can do about it. What we might actually do underground, on the ground then is put some barbed wire on it. So they slow down even more. So they have the barbed wire. They have the... Uh, and that's only for our trap that is um, above us here. And they have the barbed wire. They get slowed down in the electric fence. Also, we're going to go outside and do that now in a minute. Now, the episode may be a little short because I had to spend about 40 minutes in creative mode on a different game to figure all this out because it just didn't get into my head like how this how, how I'm gonna make a perfect square or how am I gonna make a square protecting a square area if I have to do four individual sets because you're gonna need more room to put all the extra things but I think I worked it out it's not gonna look pretty but I hope we can hide most of it oh yeah we need tripwire 
Somebody in the comments was asking um, if I lost two engines. No, I brought actually an extra engine over here from the other place. So there you go. <laughs> so we can, I don't know, you can't take fuel out, can you? No, you can't really. So you have to take it apart. But I think we need to repair it first. Yeah. Oh, I brought all the other parts except mechanical parts. You see, I brought um, electronic parts, some steel, because that's what we need to repair stuff. Anyway, I forgot we need mechanical parts. Anyway, it's not important. So we are going to go over here now, and I'm going to set it up. I destroyed all the blocks, okay? Now, this should be fine. These guys should be fine, because we have a line here. That's one set. This one is another set. Then we have another set here. And another set here. So we have all four sides covered when it comes to the... To these guys. Okay, actually, let's repair all of these guys. Because we haven't really... Um, oh, yeah, this is left over from the zombies. When they, we had a few... We, have, we had a few visitors while we were building and wrapping up after the outro in the last episode. Here we go. Now let's make sure these guys are all up to... Oh, there we go. Excellent. Now, the way this works, we're going to need two sets of everything. So... What would be good is if we, for example, can use for this from here. Let me think now. Yeah, from here to here is one trip wire. But then we need also another one from potentially here to over there. And it needs to be there because we need to make the trip wire to go alongside here. That's something that needs to happen. So, let me see. Maybe what we should do is make this from here to here. This one from here to here. And then this one from here all the way across to here. Now, and that means we have another one going then from here to here. Okay, so... <laughs> You can already see that it's uh, getting to a point where you kind of think, wow, okay, we have all these extra tripwires. I just really hope they fix that, that we can have the tripwires connect to each other. Because having four separate sets gives us a real ugly shape to things. So what we're going to do is we also have to place, obviously, our uh, dart trap now. So our dart trap preferably goes somewhere here on top. I don't know if we can place things on top here. I actually don't know if it will break or not. Can we place anything on top of? Hang on. No, we can't. Okay, so I don't want to lose the trap. So what we're going to have to do is we probably have to put the trap here facing that way. Okay, that would make sense. So we're going to put this one here. Ah, I had it. It's just so dark, I couldn't see it. There. So this one will go here, and this will be for this line here. So we're gonna have the power connect to this. No, it has to go to connect to this. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna connect to this one here. Then we're gonna connect all the way to this trip wire. From this trip wire to this and to this, because it's nice and close together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put full concrete plates around here on this side but here on this level for this to be able to shoot through we're going to put uh, metal bars iron bars so that these guys can shoot through it then over here we're not going to build this crate here we're going to put this crate here and that way they don't shoot into each other okay because you guys were correctly making that a concern saying like dude you know you need to make this like um you know, uh, you can't make them shoot into each other. And I also should actually use reinforced concrete blocks. So let me see here. Can I make some more? Yeah, I should make some more. Oh, there, we actually have some here. Okay, and then place this on top. There we go. So that's how this is going to work. And then we're going to do the same over here. So basically, we're going to have a three by three area where we're going to have our uh, trap, our trip wire, and our fence poles. And that should work. I think. So up front, uh, before I continue, let me also apologize that we had a little bit of trap building in the last episode in here, but I really wanted to get this right, so I felt it was important to kind of go over it again. Now, this is how this is gonna look, okay? 
in here we can reach everything we can re we need to reach okay we can go on top of here we can reach everything we don't have to worry about anything let's actually just fix this up i thought i heard something okay so let's take the power come on there we go nice let's go over here and no no we have to go over here to this one Let's go to the one furthest away. There we go. Now this one, it's important that it connects over here because this one here is now the one with all the power. So we're gonna connect this one. We're going to connect this one to the trap. Now we are going to unload this trap for now because I just want to hear it click. Okay. It should click, hopefully. Uh, yes. Nice. It is working. And now we're gonna connect this to the fence. And then this piece of fence over to this one. Oh, I, cl I misclicked, sorry. Let me see. Is the fence connected? Yes, it is. So let's take this fence. Sometimes you click and it doesn't really register and then connect it to here. Now, there we go. You start. So it's absolutely on. Look at the damage it does as well. So this is absolutely covered now. Okay, so there's no excuse. This is working. Now, okay, I'm gonna have to be careful about actually closing this all off. So uh, let's just do it from the top. There we go. Now, what I might do is I might close this off completely instead of having this in a weird shape like that. And that way, at least we have like a square tower, or maybe we put another turret here, a shotgun turret that will just take care of all the zombies, like, you know, as they come in, like, so we don't have zombies here on the walls, like nagging around, like, or whatever. So let's just do this here quickly. We're going to fix this outside here. We have, we have no, nothing to worry about. So let's close this off by putting the, this here. Let's actually turn the power off for a second. I wonder if we can reach it. Ah, oh, we can't reach it. That is a pity. We can't reach it. Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about it. We're going to do it somehow. Let's just not get too close. Now this... Actually, this looks fine. Perfect. Excellent. And this is it. So... You can see here now, we can't reach through that, but we can do it through here. All we have to do is load this guy up now with our ammo, lock it, and there you go. I don't want to really walk in it because I don't want to get killed, but this should now kill every zombie that's coming from this direction in here. And then we're just going to put some barbed wire. I don't know if I have the resources. Let me see. Barbed wire. This here. Five, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. Well, okay, I don't think we can put anything here because uh, that's where these blocks are. So I would say five is enough. Let me see. Let's put it onto the ground. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Because here we're also going to have the plate again. This guy here. And let me just go and rotate it around. Nice. So we're going to have this here. And close this all off. Excellent. Look at this. So this can shoot through here. And this here will probably be open. We actually are going to have to make this also a iron bar i just remember so we have to leave this actually open oh whoa 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 i actually went into the barbed wire already this is gonna be so good uh oh we have action i don't know what's happening but i think we have action we definitely had something come by could have been an animal could have been a zombie i have no idea i basically prepared now so we're gonna go to the trader now I make, um, I'm just crafting that until we're at the trader. This is all what I'm bringing with me. I actually listened to you guys and I uh, used the plant fiber to repair. Sorry, not the plant fiber, the military fiber to repair. And we have military boots. We have all that jazz, which is actually worth a lot of money. I also brought that with me and the helmets and some mining helmets and a military helmet, some gold nuggets, 200 leather. And we're going to sell a lot of things 
in the beginning by by separately so we can actually level up quickly because i think the problem is if we would uh, say for example sell all 500 cash it only levels up once because as far as i know once it reaches the end that's it it doesn't go higher than that but if you sell them individually of course as soon as it hits the end it goes across so say you have to sell 20 to reach the end and then 21 to go to cross if you sell 50 you still only go to the end unless they fix that but last time i did it i, I it wasn't like that so i don't trust it Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to put all that jazz in here. That's all what I'm going to leave here behind. There we go. Very good. And this is for us to be crafted. Oh, whoops. There we go. We're going to leave that. And you know what? We're going to take that with us as well. And the wet concrete blocks as well for sale. Rebar frames, they're not worth a lot of money. These things are not worth a lot of money. Nah. Okay, these are actually worth a lot of money. Wiring tools are surprisingly not worth a lot of money. Even though they're made from steel, which is kind of surprising. A shotgun turret is worth a lot of money, but we need it. Okay, so we probably have a roaming horde. Now we have an individual zombie. Okay, so let's put the rest of the um, bars on and it's done. Look at this. It's looking good. I like it. I like the shape. It kind of looks very special. It looks very unique. I like the shape, but we are going to put these guys on here. There we go. Nice. Come on, there we go. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, look at that. Nice. We had a little lost zombie. That is cool. And he died. He definitely died. Like, I mean, there was absolutely no way about it. Oh, okay. I made not enough. I thought making six was enough. Two, four. Oh, okay. Actually, we needed three here. Okay, fair enough. So, this one here actually should have been a hole. So, yeah. This actually should not be. This should be open because the other thing is going to shoot down this. Oh, no, actually, it's not. It's not. We're going to have to repair that because this is shooting this way. Yes. Okay, so we need one more here and then one more here on the front. So we need two more. Excellent. All right. So it's looking good. I like it. I like it. Let's go and get to the trader. Little chest here, actually, like uh, that we have. I just stopped you to get some petrol because we have no petrol. Um, very good. We take that. And anything else? Yeah, we can sell that. Springs, we can sell them. Very good, I like it. And bullets, we take them with us. We probably won't sell them. But I'm going to take all the pistol pieces with me as well. Because they're pretty cool. I mean, can we repair them? No, we don't have repair kits. But that compound bow alone is like worth uh, 576. And it's weaker than my crossbow. So it will be definitely an easy sale. Oh, actually, I'm going to take the meat with me and all that. Yeah, that's very important. Well, how are we to get there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was a big gap or something like, okay, that, that, that might work. Okay, no, no, that won't work. That might work. Let's see if there is a... No, that, that won't work. <laughs> okay, let's... Um... Oh, can, can we do that? that? That would be awesome. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Ah. There we go, nice. Woo! Okay. Where's the front of this place? Okay, we made it. That is an awesome one. I don't know if I've seen this one before. This one looks amazing. Wow. There we go. Look at that. Let's close this. Very nice. Oh, yes. This is... Oh, yeah. Okay, we gotta explore. I think I've seen this one before. We, um... Oh, wow. Wow. There's some crates down here or something. Yes, mushroom, we take that, thank you. Ah, it's only feathers. Oh, nice. And it's a bit of paint. How much is that paint worth? Okay, not that much. Basically nothing. Okay, that goes up there. So let's just quickly check here. And I think that's pretty much it. Okay, we leave the torch here though. I think that's it, is it? Yeah. Is that gold? Oh, man. I can't hit it. Okay, let's go up here and see what we get. Oh, there's another box here. Oh, nice. That is awesome. It's a pity we don't have anything to repair it with. Maybe we can buy some... Um, uh, forged iron or something from him. Who knows? Oh, look at that. Nice. 
This is really, really cool. Yes, this is right here under the... Ah, uh, look at that. The gun safe and everything. This is so cool. So this is his escape route. Like, this is the trader's escape route. That is awesome. Yeah, I think I've seen this one before. That's pretty cool. I like it. I'm really glad that they added these type of things to the traders. Like, you know, it makes it a little bit more um, real. You know, that the trader is like, yeah, it makes sense that he has an escape hatch, things like that. And before we talk to him, there is a couple of more things we can loot. So let's have a look here. That's actually a proper forge. Holy balls. There's another bit we can get up here. Ooh, that's good. That is good. Okay, don't really care for that. Unless we can sell that. Um, no, I'm not. Can't sell it. Nothing. Oh, that's worth something. Yeah, we sell it all. And we might as well sell these guys then. There we go. They're only worth a couple of a couple of quid, but you know, it's all important. There we go. Oh, nice. Nice! I hope there's something interesting in it. Please let there be something awesome in it that's like worth a lot of money. Or oh, an auger. I would take an auger. Ah, rocket ammo. That's worth 117. That's pretty awesome. That was pretty sweet. I like it. Okay, some glue. And oh, there's another box here and some more rubbish. This is an awesome trader. I'm spoiled now by all the boxes, dude. So an empty box is really mean to me right now. Okay, there's another tower over there. Let's see if we can get there. How do we get there? Oh, workbench. Oh, that's actually a workbench. Also, I spent my last points, guys. So, um, I went weaponsmithing seven. And the reason I did this is because Machiti unlocks here. And we needed weaponsmithing seven. Okay. Now, actually, now I can get it. So, now we can make a Machiti plate. Can we make it in here? Let me see. Ooh. Do we have... Oh, we can't... We can't burn stuff. Oh, we, maybe we can use his. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we can use his. Can't pick that up. See if there's anything more amazing in here. Nothing in here. And... I love this. The way this tower is done. It's awesome. Okay, nothing here. Oh, nice! Yes! Oh, oh, nice. Look at that repair. I took, I took it with me. I took my military fiber with me. That's 726. Oh, nice. And then anything here? Not on the bottom. Let's see. No, 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 nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Is there anything under the water here, under the bridge? No, I think we got everything. All right, let's go in. Let's do some trading. Ah, uh, look at this now. Can we, what do we need to make a machete plate? Ah, uh, we need a crucible. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> okay, dude. Let's see what you got. Oh, there's another room here. I did not... Oh, yeah, that's the outside. We already looted all that. And your kitchen area. Let's see if there's anything interesting in there. I mean, maybe a wrench. That would have been awesome. No, nothing here. Okay. Fair enough. All right. I think we got everything sorted out now. Oh, there's another door here. Okay, that just goes back out. All right. I don't have barter high. I don't have so... An auger is probably out of the question. A nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. But we're going to sell these things. We're going to sell these things. Now, when it comes to these jackets, this is something we're going to sell. Um, actually, this... We're going That's to scrap. All you're gonna buy. I'll let you show yourself out. 
Yeah, 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 I know. We're going to scrap these because we're going to need the resources, actually. And let's sell well, things like that. Another survivor. Because oh, they're only worth a little guns. bit. And Good our battering, let me see how our battering is doing. There we go. We should level a up soon. Nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. Now, these things seem to give a lot of experience. So, let's see. Oh, level 10. Wow. This one seems to level up really quickly. Level 11. 12. Excellent. Do we get another 13? Excellent. And 14? Love it. Yes! Are we gonna get a 16 out of it? I don't think so. There we go. Oh, we did get a 16 out of it. Nice. Okay. 17. Well, that's all you're gonna buy. Oh, we're level 43, actually. Like, oh my god, how quickly did that level up? That is amazing. Let me see. Stash? Secret stash? Oh, we don't have eight points. That is so disappointing. Oh man, that, that would have been nice. Ain't worth a dime anymore. We're gonna sell all these as well. We're just gonna keep selling. Whatever. Let me see That's here. Right. What level are we at now? Are we still gonna be level 43? Yeah, that, that wet concrete gave us a lot of experience. Yeah, well, we're definitely gonna have to come back with that. Did. You better have coin. And we're gonna sell all these individual. I took some steel with us. We're going to sell these as well because they're all worth a lot of money. So. Let's do that. Do we get actually a lot of experience for that? Let me That's see. Right. So do we got a math. little bit here. Well, that's all you're gonna buy. Okay, a little bit. Still felt. Now it's not really giving us that much experience. The wet Looking concrete was just the Vision. biggest load. Leveled up again. Wow. Okay, now we can do secret stash. Oh, we only six points. Genie, Mac. Looking for something. Oh. Special. Okay, let's sell that. Let's sell that. Excellent. That's 1,200. Holy balls. 908. 229. 635. We're going to keep that until the end. 700. Look at that. That is amazing. And there we go. We're going to sell all the hazmat stuff. 1,000. 1,100. 2,098. These shoes are worth 1,500. That is insane. How much? What way. level are we now? 54. Oh, my holy balls. Does this look like a lounge to you? We're going to take that. We're going to sell. Look at this. It's 524 now. This is amazing. Okay, so we're going to sell this. This is only partial. 23 for glue. Okay, this one here is now 2,275. Holy balls. That is amazing. This is now 1,800. And it's not even fully repaired. Can we repair else. it? You best be on your way. A repair kit. Can we buy a repair kit from you? No, you don't have a repair kit. Okay, um, let me see what you have. You have a wrench at 50. You have very good cloth armor. You have another wrench. You have a crossbow, which I have already myself. You have a very good shotgun. Yo, I actually would be tempted to buy this just to level up again. <laughs> Look at that. That is amazing. Okay, so let's see what the secret stash is. Unless we want to sell this. No, it doesn't sell. I don't think there's any more we can sell. And we're going to sell this as well. Excellent. Nice. And then now we can sell these because look, that's another 1,700. And now the gold is another 1,700. Now the iron is 2,000. That is amazing. Okay, I think that... Yeah, let's 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 not sell it yet. Actually, keep the steel if I can. So let's see what the secret stash is. Oh, Did I level up again? Here. I don't think so. We're 94 and a half now. Okay, so let's do the secret stash. We didn't get anything interesting. The pistol book we already know. Painting metal? I don't think I know that. And it's only 510. I probably should get that. 
you get some bullets they, they they're not that many bullets we can do our own so there's nothing really amazing in here um there's a very good shotgun barrel in here for 2200 smg no we need the ak-47 that's what we need i don't think they have that no and there's no auger sorry guys Okay, uh, there's another trader in the other area. I don't know if they all share the same loot table, but we're going to check that one out as well. And, oh yeah, we're going to sell that. Screw that. Yeah, can I repair That's that first? Chit -chat for me today. No. And this hammer here we can sell as well. well. I'll do business with you, long as you're not a thief. There we go. And that's pretty much it, I think. Oh, the bed. Yes, 1,681. That is amazing. We're now level Thank 62. God, that is Next so awesome, guys. That is that. awesome. Thank you so much for letting me know about the concrete. Anyway, that was a very, very long and short episode. It was kind of short, but it was long in the sense that we did a lot of talking and looking at things. And I'm sorry I had to, to go back to the trap. I really hope you guys don't mind. And I wouldn't mind getting your input on it. But I think it will be now safe from screamers when we are underground doing a lot of work with the tor with the forges because well they should just get destroyed and they shouldn't start hitting we i'm gonna upgrade all of them to steel and they shouldn't start hitting the the sides okay what we can do is when they are on the sides we can put um uh, big spikes on them in the back and that way they don't attack them anyway i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to kick that like button in the balls and i hope to see you guys in the next episode and if you're new to the channel and you like what you see hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys next time until then as always feel pass and happy gaming there's another trader luckily closer to us but um for the quest to complete we had to go to this one but there is one luckily very close to us so we probably holy balls how are we gonna get up there we're probably gonna go back to this one obviously um with the wet concrete there we go Okay, so let's find the entrance there. I love the biomes. It's like between three biomes, I think. <laughs> okay, let's go in here. Oh, nice. Blueberries. I like it. All right, so let's see if he has the same loot. I wonder. Put away your weapon unless you'd like to Simple die light. I think he has soul. oh he has a repair kit. I think he has different loot. Okay. So we could sell this. Very good. We can sell the boots that we found. I looted a couple of tree stumps on the way. So let's see if he has any augers. Let's just do a search. Auger. Oh 